Hey. They've been posting these really dumb electronic freeway signs lately. Some of them don't even make any sense. And today's was, if you feel drowsy, pull over. And I was like, I feel drowsy, but I can't pull over because I got to go to work. Yeah, Russian Americans don't like to get up early in the morning, but they have to. So they do it real slow. That's what I was thinking. Anywho, enough of that nonsense. Um, I was really uh, reluctant to post yesterday's dream. Um, it bothers me that, first of all, it really bothers me that that was mentioned. Mind control in itself, and now that I could potentially be associated with mind control is not a happy thought I have at all. But someone commented stating that most of us to a certain degree are mind controlled and I will definitely have to agree with that one. Uh, the TV, the internet, all of, all of these things have subliminal messaging. Um, people are manipulated and easily controlled, as we could clearly see the way our society is functioning today. So there is a form of mass hypnosis slash uh, mind control taking place to begin with. But, you know, it still felt very specific to me because it was specifically mentioned to my face by the singer regardless i got to i got to keep an archive of these dreams i just i feel the need to do it um a long time ago before i started sharing them on here i shared them with my brother and family members and such and the uh, my brother told me that I should write them down, and um, that's a lot of work. This is a bit easier, so, but I'm glad he told me that because he kind of sparked that process. Um, I don't rec recall any dreams last night. Um, been contemplating and meditating on the idea of clones and cloning and um, I've been wondering um, if these uh, so-called you know dark overlords or overseers of this realm have been cloning themselves kind of continuously to remain here in order to avoid hell or to avoid the lower astral realms. That's an interesting idea. Now, first of all, how would they obtain, they would have to basically conduct some form of very high technology or magic on themselves in order for them to thwart the consequences of natural law, right? So if their soul exits their body, for example, and immediately goes into a clone, um, how do they subvert or not face the, the divine, for example? The only thing I could think of is that they sort of handed their soul over to this place. So they've kind of given themselves uh, to the greater authority of this realm so that they could be given permission to do this, which actually does sort of make sense to me. And it was some strange video game that mentioned this. It, it, this isn't my idea by any means. Some sort of weird video game I heard about the other day came out like in 2013 
that it was like a rap themed game that had Kanye West and it was like an Illuminati themed and it was called Ascension or something like that. And this game referenced this sort of cloning and over time these clones would become increasingly more evil and corrupted the longer they stayed within the cycles of this realm. Now, this is an interesting thought, right? So we know about the idea that there isn't a, a single spiritual process taking place. It's very diverse, just as life on Earth is as diverse. So everyone is on your their unique journey. So one's unique journey could be this twisted, sickening cloning process now i did make a video a long time ago mentioning that i've had people claim to see doppelgangers of me and i have i've had doppelganger encounters myself if anyone wants to see that one i'll put it down in the comments but uh it's an interesting idea um and lastly uh, I wanted to update on the numbers. I'm seeing 113 less and 88 less um, and 666 a lot less. Uh, the one number I keep seeing repeatedly still a lot is 911. And yeah, it's becoming clear to me that obviously these are not dates, you know, these are what people have commented, you know, they're spiritual numbers, you know, angelic numbers, numbers, you know, specific to a certain, I think they're like a sort of key to your mind, essentially. So um, perhaps it is a way... I've mentioned this before, perhaps it is a way for me to retain certain memories that I don't want lost upon transitioning after the birth, for example, which remember I said the November birth was unlikely and I was right. I'm not sure if that's a good or bad thing, but I guess it's good that we're that we're given more time to live, to learn, to grow. Um, and you know, the longer it takes, the more it, it points to us as a human race that we are not ready for any transition yet. You know, people, they, they rush things. I talked about the rapture and all of this. And I get it, you know, I'm weary of this realm too. I'm 32, but sometimes I feel older. But after current events with these strange dreams, I've been feeling more rejuvenated. So we can keep that rejuvenation alive a little bit at least. I think we can hang on. And of course... Pray, be with God, seek a relationship with God, be his friend and be open with God. That's important. All right, so just want to let you know about the dreams. You know, some of them are really weird and disturbing. So, and I'm going to tell it like it is. So, if you guys don't like it, I'm sorry. But if they're not pretty dreams, the ones that are too personal, obviously I won't share. But otherwise, I have a, I have a need to share them. All right, bye.